2013, the Norwich Society commissioned local artist Tiz Fairhurst to restore the John Murray Smith bas relief at the Coachmakers pub in Norwich. This had been in very poor condition, traffic vibration and pollution had cracked and dirted it. The preparation work had already been completed, which had consisted of cleaning the bas relief down, stripping the old paint and wire brushing it. The footage shows Tiz skillfully painting the Cavalier to its original colour and completing the finishing touches. This was the first time this had been restored to its former glory. Tiz later provided a very personal account of his connection with the legacy of the Scottish artist John Murray Smith who would have worked at this very same spot in the 1930s for Morgan's Brewery. My name is Timothy Fairhurst and I've been known as Tiz all my life. Last summer, myself and Tom Humphrey spent a month restoring the bass relief of St Stephen's Gate by John Murray Smith. We cleaned off a hundredweight nearly of surface dirt and got down to what was the original colours which of course we used to continue the, the same colour theme. And you realised as you get into it the bass relief is only about three or four inches surface depth, but it gives you the impression of the actual scene being quite deep. And as if the uh, work is going into the building and it's, I think the whole thing is only about a foot thick. But it's a ton and a half of cement. I mean, it's a, he's engineered this whole thing, obviously his Slade training, which is I would think vital to getting this clever design. Even when I was working on it, I go back across the road to have a look at it and you can see the depth and the, the clever way he's engineered certain parts of it to work against each other and give you this depth of field. Very clever man. This particular bass relief is about 85 years old. and We were the first people to touch it and it was really in very good condition, the few bits we replaced. We used a gloss paint on it because, despite his design, little bits of water get trapped behind it. But he's even designed it so water runs off all of it. And uh, it's sort of self-cleaning almost, even with today's traffic and stuff. I'm very proud to have done it, actually. And every time I go round the roundabout, I nearly cause a traffic jam. I, Stopping to have another look at it. <laughs> and even my daughter did a little bit on the, on the details just to say she'd worked on it. Well, we used about one and a half gallons of paint. Then we had a sealer. It's amazing how it soaked it up and took off. You know, it gave you a, a shiny surface again because it, it had got a little bit pitted with the, I suppose, acid rain or whatever was getting into it, but it was really very good condition. 